What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I've got something pretty special for you. I'm going to do a quick, I say quick, as quick as I can do it, um, overview of my vintage racing collection. I'm only going to do my hats and my shirts today. I know you guys have been asking about it on social media. And I'm pretty excited to share with you what I've accumulated over the past couple of years. Um, I have a really big passion for 90s NASCAR, 80s NASCAR, and the history of the sport. So um, this is something that's really exciting for me to be able to show you guys. My family has a rich history in NASCAR, and I've got a lot of like family things here. Um, some short track and local things, Bush Series stuff, NASCAR Winston Cup Series stuff, stuff from the 80s, 90s, and even some early 2000s stuff. And this isn't everything that I have, um, but it is basically everything that came out of my closet. These hats, I've got a lot more hats stacked away, tons and tons of hats, but these are just ones that I frequent. We're going to jump right into it. I'm going to start with hats. I'm going to be quick, try to hit every one of them. So bear with me because it is going to be kind of a long video, but I think you'll want to see it. So we're going to jump right into the hats. Uh, to start out with, i got a Dale Earnhardt championship hat. I don't remember what year that's from. Uh, this is a Alan Kowicki Winston Cup Series Xerox hat. This is the old patch hat. It's actually in really good shape for a patch hat. Um, so those are actually really popular right now. Here is a Smoking Joe's Racing, Jimmy Spencer, Cup Series hat, Jeff Bodine, Exide Racing with the seven on the side. Got a Tommy Houston, Southern Biscuit Flower Trucker. That's a Bush Series car. This is a local short track, late model stock car, Karen Schultz. This raced at Hickory Motor Speedway. We've got a legendary finish, Andretti, 1994. is a Texaco Havoline hat. I really like this one and they're hard to find. Um, and then like some of this stuff, but where my family was involved in the Goodies Dash series, I have a lot of stuff like this, which is a Goodies Dash series official hat from the 90s. And then this was a uh, White House Apple Juice racing team hat uh, from my dad's race team with the pin and everything on it there. So second row of hats, we've got a uh, Alka-Seltzer racing Jimmy Means hat. Another late model stock series piece here with, uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. It's Jim's Auto Center's hat. I don't know why I can't think of this. I'm going to kill myself because I don't remember the driver right now. He used to battle my dad all the time. I can't remember why. I don't know why I can't think of it. But Richard Petty, um, I think this is early 80s hat here. Corduroy hat. It's pretty cool. So this is some mid-90s, late-90s stuff here. Sunoco Motorsports hat. Gatorade hat. I think this is a Victory Lane hat back in the day. And this one's pretty cool. I found it on eBay. It's AC Delco, Dell Jr. Superman hat. He ran that car one time. Got a uh, Gordon 98 um, championship hat. This was uh, the all-star race car from Dell Sr. Pretty cool there. It's got the date on the back. And then just another uh, Dell Jr. AC Delco hat. This one's actually like suede or felt kind of. And to finish off the hats that I have here, I got a uh, 92 Fan Appreciation Tour Richard Petty. Some Bill Elliott stuff. Got a uh, These are all new with tags too, which is pretty cool. I've kept them preserved. I uh, still have the cardboard and everything in it. But it's a Budweiser Junior Johnson ride there for Mr. Bill Elliott. I got a uh, Batman Forever McDonald's hat. And then this is also the more popular Batman Forever hat uh, with the McDonald's race team logo and the original tags on it. So that's all my hats. I've got a bunch. Um, like I said, those are just ones that I wear more frequently. Uh, but I do have a bunch of like stuff that my dad had accumulated over the years stacked away as well. So they're jumping into shirts. Um, this is going to be a lot of mid 90s, late 90s, early 2000s stuff. And then I'll get into some of the older stuff. But this is like the real extravagant, uh, crazy shirts that I've got. But um, this is one of my, I don't know why I like this shirt so much, but it's when Harvick first took over uh, Seniors Ride front and back rookie year rookie of the year or i don't know if it's a rookie of the year shirt it's his rookie year shirt though uh so i like that shirt a lot i've got a bunch of jeff gordon stuff so here is an out of this world shirt this one's got a hole in it but gordon out of this world this is one of my favorite gordon shirts that i have it's actually one of the harder ones to find but it's the uh jurassic park shirt it's in this one's a little faded um but it's harder to keep these shirts in really good condition but I love this shirt. It's got some crazy designs on it. It's kind of small on me, though. It is a medium, and it's pretty small. So I got that Gordon shirt. I got the uh, 2001, I believe. Yeah, 2001 championship shirt all over print. Pretty wild-looking shirt. That fits the Gordon cars of the times. This one was a, uh, this one's a little bit harder shirt to find as well. It's a Gordon Superman shirt. It's 
got some cool colors on it and uh, I really like that car too. I had a Gordon Chrome Illusion shirt, but I ended up selling it. It kind of went with that pack. All right, getting into some of my shirts that I haven't worn yet and that are brand new. I have Rusty Wallace Miller Lite shirt. You can see how bright it is. I mean, it's brand new, never been worn. So has the tags on it from the retailer. But uh, Gordon Miller Lite, Kyle Petty Melly Yellow. I really like this shirt. It's, it's kind of different because it's got a bunch of dark colors and then the neons on the car. But super dope shirt. Still hasn't been worn. Ken Schrader, Budweiser shirt, hasn't been worn. I think I wore it, but I didn't wash it. Um, so it's still super bright. It's a kick-ass shirt. My boy Phil Parsons, this is a Bush Series shirt, Mannheim Auctions car. Um, he actually signed this on the back, on the front. Did he sign it somewhere? Maybe he didn't. I thought he did. Anyways, Phil, I haven't found any more. This is the only one of these I've ever found, so I really liked that shirt. Another Kyle Petty. This is a Coors Light Scheme. Super bright neon colors. These go for a lot of money. A lot of these shirts that I have that haven't been worn. This one's got a little yellow on it, but they go for a good amount. Those are like $50 shirts. A couple of Jeff Burton shirts. I think this was late 90s, early 2000s here. Sitgo shirt, front and back. Gotta love good old Jeff. Here's another one. This was the X side car. Here's the front, the back of it like that shirt as well. Here's another Kyle Petty. This was a, a different Coors Light scheme than the neon one that I had earlier. This one had some purple in it, but I've actually wore that shirt a few times, but I like it a lot. A, I believe this is Ernie. Yeah, Ernie Irvin Haveline t-shirt. I've wore that a few times as well. This one's a little more obscure. You don't really see it as much. It was a uh, Jason Keller Slim Jim Bush car. Front and back, all over print. It was pretty cool. I found it on eBay. That was a cool find. Here's a uh, brand new Jeff Burton X-Side shirt. It's just a front print. Kind of goes with the X-Side hat I have. Smoking Joe's Jimmy Spencer with the front pocket for the cigarettes. Can't go wrong with that. Some of these are harder to find. I haven't actually seen this one before, um, except for the one that I have. And then this one is a sweatshirt. It's not a t-shirt, but it's one of my favorite ones I've ever found. And I haven't seen anything else like this. These are the truck series shirts are hard to find anyways from like the mid 90s. Um, but this is a Bob Keselowski Mopar. Well, come on now. Bob Keselowski Mopar crew neck front and back. Here is a 80s Red Baron Pizza Ken Schrader. This thing is super tiny. Looks like a muscle shirt when I wear it. I can only wear it in the summer because if I wore it in the winter, I'd look like Michelin Man. Jimmy Spencer, uh, James Finch, Yellow Race. Pretty cool t-shirt. You don't see many of uh, that car from Jimmy Spencer. This is one of my favorites too. Uh, Mike Stefanik when he won the, uh, I believe it was the West Championship or maybe the East Championship. Uh, uh, NASCAR Bush North and the Featherlight Modified Tour Championships in 97, both of them. But uh, if you don't know Mike, he passed away here recently. So this is a pretty special shirt for me. I actually have a crew neck of this as well. Exact same design, front and back. So I was very fortunate to get that. A couple of my senior shirts. The Silver Select car. I haven't seen very many of this shirt. I don't know why she's folding up on me, but this is the, it says Silver Knight, One Hot Silver Knight. It's pretty dope. It's got the Winston Cup logo on the back and the 25th anniversary. And then here is a, uh, I haven't worn this one, and I think it's brand new according to the way the uh, print looks, but it's a 91 championship shirt, biggie. It's only a front print, but it's one of those good old sports image shirts. So here's a junior shirt I have. <laughs> it's pretty fire if you ask me, but it's a, uh, this is my horses in the back shirt. It's an outlaw shirt for Dell Earnhardt. It's really cool. I actually had two of these. And some of these shirts I do have duplicates of. Um, I've sold some of them. I get lucky and I find multiple. And I'll keep one for the collection and sell the other one. So I actually sold this one to my boy, uh, Lou Creative. All right. These are some of my more local shirts. So my dad and some of the Hickory Motor Speedway late model stocks that I've accumulated over the years. Um, I have a bunch more that are put away that I don't wear. But these are just some that are in my rotation that I do wear some. Um, this is my dad's 1990 Rookie of the Year and Championship car in the Goodies Dash Series. 
one of my favorite shirts of dad's the colors pop and uh that car is always special to me because um that was you know his first nascar championship outside the late mile stock car so this is a uh, jamie sigmund late mile stock shirt from the mid 90s it's actually a limited car i believe uh, my dad drove for the sigmund some uh, in the 37 car but jamie and tracy both had really nice looking rides from the 90s i love these shirts here's one of my favorite shirts of my dad's it's when white house first came on board and it's the uh just the i think this is 95 white house apple juice racing it's got pour on the juice logo on the back it's one of the sickest logos he ever used uh i haven't washed this shirt or maybe washed it once but try to take care of it too because those colors will fade here's a uh, late mile stock shirt for my dad uh this car he actually won the championship in at Tri-County. Um, he didn't race it much at Hickory. The white car was just his Tri-County car in 89. But he did win a championship with this one as well. Hooters Pro Cup shirt. Brandon Ward, my dad crew chief this car. Uh, it's faded all to heck. But I believe I used to sleep in this when I was a little kid. Um, really cool car. Randy Humphrey racing. Um, had a lot of good memories pulling for this car in the Pro Cup series. And got to go to a lot of races and a lot of racetracks for the first time. Uh, cheering on this race car this is an oldie this is a 1988 late mile stock shirt from my dad's um when i ran full time at hickory in 2015 we actually kind of mimicked this car it wasn't exactly a mimic it had a white roof and a greenhouse when i ran it but um he did win the 1988 championship in this car and 89 in this car both of them in the blue car so here's a jason jarrett late mile stock car t-shirt it's beat all the heck it's been washed a bunch worn a bunch but thought still that was really cool uh not many times you get one of the jarrett's um in a late mile stock form so got jason jarrett on the back with all of his sponsors that was a really cool t-shirt thought and then scott kilby if you're familiar with scott kilby he was around the local scene for a long time he was the uh head tech guy at hickory for a while but i ran into this late mile stock shirt of his one of my favorites that i have it's a little beat up Shows some good old wear and tear from from the racetrack back in the day, but uh, cool colors, and you didn't see this a lot, you know, on those old t-shirts, especially at a, from a local level. Last shirt I have is a drag racing shirt. I think I accidentally threw this one in here, but anyways, it's from local area here. Um, Lineberger, Alan Lineberger, he was a uh, drag racer from my local area back in the 90s, so Duck Graphics actually made this shirt as well. That's why I have it. I found it and kept it. So I have a couple of jackets here, nothing special, but the last few things I have, um, I have this Jeff Gordon Rainbow Warriors team jacket. Um, it's sublimated, which wasn't something that was like super popular back in the day. Everything else was like printed or embroidered, but this one's sublimated, so I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it's a competitor's view jacket, so they go for a decent amount. I haven't seen much of these either. Um, there was a ton of Gordon and a ton of Earnhardt stuff made, so... Um, Really, I probably should have more of that, but I don't. I, I like more of the obscure stuff. This jacket isn't anything crazy, but it, I just kept it because, I don't know, I, I thought it was dope. It's a Charlotte Media Tour 1991 jacket, but it was from Kyle Petty's race team. So it's an old style auto uh, com uh, competition jacket. I need to tuck these back in, but got the old style auto tag in it. And uh, the embroidered Charlotte Media Tour and the Melly Yellow logo. So thought it was really dope it's an old marketing jacket that they wore back in the day you know i can just picture kyle petty rocking this uh for media day and here throw it over here brooke i'll show that to you here's a few of brooks too she's wanting me to throw them in here these are the ones that i got her they were tiny but she she has some pretty cool ones too this old dick trickle shirt when he drove the uh 66 car in the cup series it's a really cool one and then she's got a bill elliott t Budweiser car. It's in really good shape. That's pretty much what my closet looks like right now, guys. So I, I know that was kind of a long video, and hopefully you got to see each of the uh, pieces relatively well. I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but I wanted to show you guys everything that I have. And like I said, I have a ton more packed away and a lot more cool stuff. Maybe I can do another video updating you on a lot of the other odds and ends that I have. But um, that's 
in a nutshell, pretty much what my vintage racing collection looks like from the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. So appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you've seen a few shirts that bring back some memories. And uh, you know, maybe you've seen a few of these shirts for the first time and thought they were pretty cool. And you can find a lot of them on eBay. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.